I know this seems rather strange for me to do. I've said before that I'm not a fan of manga and chapter and episode reviews just don't interest me. But making my video on my top 10 waifus takes more time than you might think. But making videos on my top 10 waifus takes more time than you might think, so I decided I would give something else a try. Plus I saw something about this manga on my Twitter feed, so I decided why not give it a try and why not share my thoughts with you all. Astro Lost in Space is a new manga that came out a couple weeks ago. It is a science fiction story where interplanetary travel is quite common and it follows a group of students as their class basically goes on a camping trip to a different planet several light years from their home. The twist comes when they are on the planet, a strange orb comes and teleports them above another planet 5,000 light years away from where they were. Fortunately, they are able to find an abandoned spaceship but discover that the communications modules are broken so they can't tell the school what happened. And while it is able to get them home, it doesn't have enough supplies to last them more than a few weeks and the trip would take months for them to get back. I am enjoying the story so far. It feels a bit lighthearted with some of the dialogue between the characters being quite funny at times, though it does feel like the story could get more serious as it goes on. Though so far there has not been a lot of imminent danger. Though there was an evil cliffhanger at the end of chapter 3, so it feels like that your plans could be disrupted and there will be a lot more danger, which I kind of hope there is. And it also makes me wish that chapter 4 is out, but they're releasing two chapters a week, so I guess I won't have to wait too long. Character-wise, we really don't know a lot about most of the characters. The main character, Katana, feels very much at home in a shonen story. He tries to encourage everyone, never gives up, and believes in the power of teamwork and all that. Now there are two different directions they could go with a character like him. The first is showing how he's right and how the ideals he holds will get them through and just be a very encouraging, uplifting character. Or they could go the opposite direction and show that he's too idealistic and how he'll fail them, and so far it's hard to tell which direction they'll take. Either direction though, I'd be okay with it just if they do it right, which hopefully they will. We'll see. The other characters are just less memorable as a whole, and I think this is caused by them having the whole class there from the start, so most of them just feel like background characters. Plus, with the whole thing being in black and white, it could be hard to remember who is who, though I really shouldn't complain about this considering this is normal for manga. I do hope that they will just focus on a small subset of the class, which might be in the direction they're going if they go in that direction with the story. I'm also afraid that we'll just have a lot of time skips because of the time when they're just traveling and nothing exciting happened, and this does mess with the pacing. Then again, just showing boring parts would also not be good either, but maybe they could show some of the character interactions as they're traveling so we get to know them a little bit more before the exciting parts happen. Though Overall though, I do like the manga so far, and I plan to keep going with it. Whether they actually keep up is another story. It seems like it'll be an interesting shonen adventure thing taking place in a sci-fi world, so all aspects that I like. And yeah, if this sounds like something you would like too, give it a try. I'll put a link to the first chapter down below, so far, all these chapters are free from Shonen Jump, so that's good. Maybe you'll have to like buy a subscription later or something. I don't really know how Shonen Jump Online works. Though, so far, it's free, and I hope it stays that way because I'm cheap and don't want to uh, pay for even more subscriptions. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, tell me what you think. I would say you could suggest other manga for me to check out, though I probably won't. But eh, maybe if it's something new or short, I'll give it a try and make a video about it. Who knows? And now I'd get back to making my top 10 waifu video.